Hi guys, it is an absolutely gorgeous day. You're in the end times in Garfield, Texas. I'm 17 miles from downtown Austin, Texas, where 400,000 clueless morons are invading Austin, Texas here on Saturday, March 10th, 2018. So, uh, just want to check in with uh, what the clueless morons are finding when they get here. Well, if they're getting into downtown Austin on March 10th, they are finding 90 degrees waiting for them. And if they're heading out to the uh, lake, they're looking at 93 degrees uh, waiting for them. As now they have changed their forecast because you know it, it could still get hotter this afternoon it is now calling for 94 degrees for March 10th 94 oh yeah uh, but I'm thrilled to say look at tomorrow 67 64 on Monday 65 on Tuesday 67 on Wednesday an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous weather forecast for the clueless morons after today look at this look at this weather forecast just gotta love springtime in Austin Texas so anyway um, the Sun is now beginning to hit me here I'm out on my uh, I'm out here on my back Porch, trying to stay in the little band of shade here on my on my porch from the uh, from the giant cottonwood tree trunk, sending this band of shade to get me out of the hot sun here in paradise. Sancho Panza has already gone inside. He is he is inside, hanging out. Uh, I think on the cool. He's either on the vinyl kitchen floor, he might even be on the cool tile of the bathroom inside the house uh, to cool off on March 10th. But uh, anyway, thinking about global warming, I want to thank my Lieutenant Fiesta Cranberry for sending me this. This might be, yeah, I, you know, obviously I did not have this story for my clueless moron roundup rant but this is kind of an epilogue to the clueless moron roundup rant this quite quite possibly could be the single most unadulterated horseshit story i have received in 2018 certainly uh related to to uh global warming take it away is where is this from is this sci yeah, science daily from today's science daily uh for today's latest research news and top science headlines okay and they have distilled a study from uh what just science a study published this week in science magazine <clears throat> global fisheries to be on average on average global fisheries on average 20 percent 20 percent less productive in the year 2300 i misread this i thought it said 2030 uh, because my mind obviously did not read the number 2300. Uh, nope. Global fisheries to be on average 20% less productive in 2300. University of California at Irvine study finds. All right. And I'm just going to read the opening and the closing of the full story. Uh, okay. 
UC Irvine scientists expect, expect, you, you hear this is the rednecks shooting off their guns. This is how the rednecks in Garfield, Texas uh, celebrate a beautiful day in the end times, shooting their guns. Anyway, UC Irvine scientists expect the world's fisheries to be on average 20% less productive in the year 2300 with those of the North Atlantic down nearly 60% and those in much of the Western Pacific experiencing declines of more than 50%. Okay, in a study published this week in Science, UCI climatologists outline the results of computer simulations showing a world subjected to nearly three more centuries of unbridled global warming. This bleak future will be characterized by a 9.6 degrees Celsius, otherwise known as 17 degrees Fahrenheit increase in mean surface air temperatures, nearly 10 times the warming we have seen to this point. They extended climate warm, this extended climate warming will drastically alter wind patterns, boost ocean surface temperatures, and melt nearly all the sea ice, nearly all the sea ice in polar regions. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, then they break down, so these, uh, these climatologists uh, break all of this down, you know, looking at their computer models, looking ahead to the year 2300, where it will be 17 degrees warmer on the planet uh, in 300 years from now, uh, you know, to break all this down, how this is going to affect the different fisheries as if there is really going to be a, a, a fishery left on this fucking planet uh, in the year 2051. Uh, not even talking about the year 2300. Okay, let's get to the bottom line, quoting author study, whoever Professor Moore is. Quote, the, these reductions in fisheries in 300 years from now. Quote, this is... What is going to happen if we don't put the brakes on glo global warming? And it is pretty catastrophic for the oceans. There is still time to avoid most of this warming and get to a stable climate by the end of this century. But in order to do that, we have to aggressively reduce our fossil fuel use and emissions of greenhouse gas pollutants. There you go. 20% less productive in 300 years. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, you know, maybe uh, the, the, the only, uh, the, you know, the only possible way that uh, there will be a 20% reduction in the ocean's fisheries in 300 years over today is because uh, humans will go extinct uh, while there are still a few you know, sardines left in the oceans. Uh, so maybe uh, if humans just get the hell out of here, and of course uh, now even Stephen Hawking is uh, claiming that we will be gone, that humans will be gone uh, by the year 2100. Uh, you can kiss us goodbye, certainly by the end of this century. Uh, so... You know, so if by some miracle 
uh, by the time we've exterminated our own clueless asses off this planet and we have left a few uh, either sardines or, or some you know, some goddamn little uh, bottom feeder at the bottom of the Marianas Trench that some fucking deep sea mining uh, planet sucker hasn't sucked up uh, into their into their undersea mining conveyor belts. Then, then yes, maybe uh, the ocean will have recovered by the year 2300 to uh, some, some percentage of where it is today. Although, uh, obviously, I have to be a complete uh, apocaloptimist to even believe that. A, you know, Science Daily and Science Magazine ought to be embarrassed. You know, guys, if you, if you lose your sick, twisted sense of humor, you have lost it all, but uh, I am being uh, I am being now uh, blown out of here by the hot afternoon sun. Let's see if the temperature has gone up since I started this rant. And yes, in the last 11 minutes, the temperature now at the lake uh, has is now has gone from 93 degrees to 94.6 degrees in Austin, Texas out at the lake there you go smoke them if you got them guys we are so fucked and it is March the 10th oops it's cooling off to 94.5 degrees. We and the oceans are saved. Bye guys.